let's take a look at how to set up Google Cast for education and use it with your students. On the teacher's end, allowing students to share their screens with the class requires the installation of the Casting web app. Don't worry about installing it though, it's been pushed to everyone district-wide, although if you don't see it, you should reach out to your campus or zone ITS for help. While the app is pre-installed, it will only be visible if you're signed into the Chrome browser with your district Google account. You can sign into Chrome by clicking the box next to the minimize icon in the top right corner of the browser window. After doing so, find the apps icon on the opposite side of the browser. It looks like a colorful waffle, and it's in the bookmarks bar. If you don't see it, try pressing Ctrl, Shift, and B to display your bookmarks bar. If you still don't see it, you should probably submit a heat ticket. If you don't immediately see the Cast app on your screen, you'll need to navigate left and right using the arrows on either side of the screen until you find it. Let's open this bad boy up. The app is really pretty simple. You'll be prompted the first time that you open it to name your receiver. That's your computer and this is the name that students will see when they request to share their screens with you. I suggest naming your receiver using your last name and room number, but you're a grown up so you can do whatever you want. There are also three checkboxes in the settings menu. All three are up to you as to whether you want to check them or not, but I'd recommend leaving the third one unchecked just in case inappropriate images slip through the cracks. Click save and you'll be taken to the main screen. The way Google Cast works is that only people you specify will be able to see the option to share their screen with you. Let's take a look at what this means by clicking the share button next to settings. Sharing in this context functions much in the same way that it does in Google Drive. You specify the person that you want to share the opportunity to cast with and decide what kind of access they have, be it the ability to request to share their screen or just to take over the screen whenever they want. The Add People box is where you can start typing in the names of your students. If you already use Google Classroom, this process is super easy because the casting app allows you to add entire classes at a time. If you don't use Google Classroom, you can add each student individually by searching for them by name or ID number. Select the class or student you want to provide access to, verify they have the permission you want for them, and click Add. Now make sure to click Save at the end of this process or the changes won't stick and you'll have to do it over again. Now you're all set to cast. This app has to be running on the display computer, aka the receiver, for students to be able to share their screen. Other than that, the process is incredibly easy for them. They can either click the Cast Extension icon next to the address bar on their browser, or they can open Chrome's menu and select the Cast option from there. Students will select your receiver name and can choose whether they'd like to request to cast a tab or the entire desktop. That's about it. You're now ready to conquer the world one shared screen at a time.